Welcome back to another Madden episode and today we'll be having the week 4 matchup between the New York Giants and the Seattle Seahawks. It'll be Brian Dable versus Pete Carroll here in MetLife Stadium and this will be a fun matchup to check out. Who do you guys think will win and by what score? Let me know in the comments below. After watching the Giants offense against the San Francisco 49ers on Thursday night. How do you guys think they will fare against the Seahawks defense without Saquon Barkley in the mix? Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys think they will be able to pull this one off against the Seahawks? Let's find out. Daniel Jones and the Giants offense will get the ball to start off the game. Let's take a look at his stats from last year. He had 317 out of 472 attempts, 3205 yards, 15 touchdowns, and 5 interceptions. Let's see what he and this offense can do right here on the first drive of the game. And right here on 1st and 10, Danny Dimes has a lot of time in the pocket and gets it off to number 12, Darren Waller for the first down and they are now at the 36 yard line. And as we saw on Thursday night, the San Francisco defense was able to contain Waller and with them being able to do so, the Giants offense really struggled. Do you guys think that'll be the game plan for the Seahawks coming into this game? It is now 3rd and 5 for the Giants offense right here. And Danny Dimes has time in the pocket, but he rolls to his left and is met by the defender Uchenna Nuosu. And he is sacked for 10 yards, bringing up a 4th and 15. This means that the Giants will have to punt to the Seahawks and the very hungry Geno Smith, who hasn't wrote back yet. Let's go take a look at his stats from last year. And last year, Geno Smith had 399 out of 572 attempts, 4282 yards, 30 touchdowns, 2 11 interceptions. And that was a phenomenal year for him. Let's see what he can do this year. And just like the Giants on first down, it looks like the Seahawks will go to pass. And just like the Giants, they get the first down as Geno Smith passes it to number 14, DK Metcalf. And the Seahawks are near midfield now, just on one pass at their own 45-yard line. It is now a third and six for the Seahawks at the Giants' 39-yard lines. And Geno Smith gets it off to his tight end, number 87, Noah Fant and now the Seahawks are at the 27 yard line and what a great throw by Geno Smith right there and a great route by Fant to keep this drive alive. It is now third and eight for the Seahawks offense and Geno Smith does not have time in the pocket and he is sacked by Jackson number 22 and this will bring up a fourth and 15 at the 31 yard lines. And the Seahawks will have to settle for a field goal attempt as Jason Myers tries to make a 48-yarder. But before he can kick it, he is stopped by the two-minute warning. And the game itself tries to ice the kicker. Let's see if Jason Myers can make this kick. And the kick is up and it's right down the middle and good for three points as the Seahawks get the first points of the game and lead three to nothing with under two minutes remaining in the first half. It is now third and seven for Danny Dimes and the Giants offense and Danny Dimes just evades the pressure but throws it out of bounds bringing up a fourth and seven and with a minute 29 still remaining in the quarter and Seattle still retaining all three of their timeouts it'll be Time for Geno Smith to try and answer with some more points to end the first half. The Seahawks will start off this drive at their own 39 yard line and on first down Geno Smith gets it to number 16 Tyler Lockett for the first down 
and they take it to the 41 yard line of the New York Giants and they still have 117 remaining in the game and they have all three of their timeouts remaining so let's see what Geno Smith can do in this drive it is now second and ten for the Seattle Seahawks at the 29 and Geno Smith gets it to number 87 no offense and now the Seattle Seahawks are set up at the three yard line of the New York Giants with 24 seconds remaining in the second quarter it is now second goal for the Seahawks and Geno Smith fits it in to Jackson Smith in Jigba the rookie out of Ohio State and just like that the Seahawks answer back before the end of the half and now take a 10-0 lead over the Giants most likely bringing this half to an end. Geno Smith and the Seahawks get the ball to start off the half and Geno Smith is in the pocket and gets it to once again Jackson Smith and Jigba for the first down and get it near midfield at their 48. The Seahawks are getting first down after first down and running the clock down trying to prevent the Giants from getting the ball back and just like that it is now first and goal as Noah Fant receives the ball and takes it to the seven yard line first and goal for the Seahawks. And on third and goal the Seahawks are now at the one yard line they are trying to go for a quarterback sneak, but it is stopped by the Giants' defensive line. And this brings up fourth and goal as the Giants use their first timeout of the half. And Geno Smith has time in the pocket and gets it to Jackson Smith and Jigba, who drops it in the end zone. And that is an incomplete and a turnover on downs for the Seahawks which will give the Giants the ball at the one yard line and they will have to drive 99 yards if they want to score a touchdown with only 155 remaining and two timeouts left in the game. It is now fourth and four for the Giants and Daniel Jones tries to step up to get the pass off but he is sacked and this is a turnover on downs for the Giants and the Seahawks will start the ball off on this drive at the two yard line making it a first and goal for the Seahawks and just like that on first down they decide to go for the sneak and Geno Smith powers his way into the end zone and the Seahawks tack on another sem points to the tally leading the Giants 17 to nothing with little over a minute and a half remaining in the game and the Giants are now in fourth and 11 situation as they made it to Seattle Seahawks territory but on fourth down Daniel Jones gets sacked and it is another turnover on downs for the Giants and just like that the Seahawks can now go in victory formation and win the game and Geno Smith gets into victory formation as the clock runs down to triple zeros. And just like that, the Seattle Seahawks defeat the New York Giants 17-0. Let me know in the comments below what do you guys think the score will be in real life and who will win. If you like this type of content, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and we'll be covering the NFL all season long. We'll catch you in the next one and take care.